how can we share the love of Jesus to the people right next to us? Sometimes we can feel like we don't have the right story or we don't have the right words. We're not skilled enough, smart enough, or spiritual enough to talk about Jesus. And I know that's been me. My name is Hosanna Wong. I'm the author of You Are More Than You've Been Told. And today's verse of the day is a verse that I used to get a little bit wrong. In Acts 1.8, Jesus says this, right before he ascends up to heaven, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Now, I love this verse, but I used to always put the emphasis at the end of the verse, thinking that now the only way to show God's love is to physically leave where I am to go places far from me. And some of us are called to do that. If that's you, do what God has called you to do. But physically changing your location was not the sole point of Jesus's commission, and it was not the order. In order, Jesus is saying, first, you must be filled with God's power. We don't want to go out into the world with our own power or our own preferences or our own strategies. That's how not to show the hope of Jesus. We must be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and we must be found in Jesus Christ. Jesus says, you will be my witnesses. We find our identity in him. And before we can go and talk about him, we must first personally know him for real, know his ways, his words, what he's like. So how can we share the hope of Jesus? We are filled, found, and then we go forth to the people right next to us, people a little bit further, and then everybody everywhere for the rest of our lives. We open up our real lives and share about our friend, Jesus. God is not calling you to be like or talk like anyone else. God wants to use your real story, your real personality, to share about the hope of Jesus in your real relationships. You are more equipped than you know.